Buried beneath the waves of the Mediterranean Sea lay proof that our ancestors possessed technology so advanced it would make today's engineers weep with envy. Perhaps a secret technology, very few of these have been found, and it made ship owners and navigators in Greek times were extremely careful. This isn't science fiction. This is the Antikythera mechanism, a 2,000-year-old computer that by all rights should not exist. And the story of how we found it will haunt you. The year is 1901. The Mediterranean Sea guards its secrets jealously, but sometimes, sometimes it gives them up. Greek sponge divers from the island of Simi are working the treacherous waters off Antikythera, a place known for shipwrecks and lost souls. Elias Lycopontis descends 40 meters into the darkness, expecting nothing more than the familiar silence of the deep. But what he sees sends him rocketing to the surface, gasping, shaking, his face white with terror. Bodies! There are bodies everywhere, lying like fallen soldiers. Captain Demetrios Kondos thinks the pressure has gotten to his diver's mind. But something in Elias's eyes. Something tells him this is different. Kondos descends himself. What he finds aren't bodies. They're statues. Dozens of them. Bronze and marble figures scattered across the seafloor like gods cast down from Olympus. He surfaces clutching a bronze arm, and in that moment, history begins to unravel. Word spreads like wildfire. The Greek government dispatches archaeologists. This becomes the world's first underwater archaeological excavation, a desperate race against time and tide to recover treasures that have slept for two millennia. And then they find it, a corroded lump of bronze, unremarkable, ugly even. Most would have tossed it aside as junk. It was not recognized at all as being anything interesting when it was discovered. It was just a corroded lump about the size of a large dick. But Dr. Valerio Stais sees something that stops his heart cold. Gears, tiny precise gears where no gears should exist. Picture this. Athens, 1902. Electric lights are still a novelty. The Wright brothers haven't even flown yet. And in a cramped laboratory, Dr. Valerio Steas is about to make a discovery that will shake the foundations of human knowledge. The corroded mass sits heavy in his hands, crumbling like diseased fruit. But as layers of marine growth fall away, something impossible emerges. Gears. Not crude, hammered wheels, but precision-cut cogwheels with teeth so fine they rival modern Swiss watchmaking. 69 gears in total, the largest stretching 13 centimeters across, carved with exactly 233 teeth. Each tooth just one millimeter long, cut by hand. 2,000 years before the first mechanical clock. The room fills with stunned silence as scientists gather around the fragments. Ancient Greek letters are etched into the bronze. Ray of the sun, Aphrodite, forgotten Egyptian months. The words seem carved in desperation, as if someone feared this knowledge would vanish forever. X-rays reveal even more horror, layers of gears still locked inside the corrosion, untouched by air for two millennia. A machine so complex it looks like something designed to calculate the future itself. And in that moment, one terrifying truth becomes clear. We are not the first advanced civilization to walk this planet. We had done this before, and we lost it all. But this impossible machine didn't appear from nowhere. It came from a shipwreck that would rewrite everything we thought we knew about the ancient world. The year is 60 BCE. A merchant vessel fights for its life against Mediterranean fury. This isn't just any cargo ship, it's carrying treasures that would make modern collectors weep. Greek bronze statues, marble figures from Asia Minor, delicate Egyptian glassware. And hidden deep in the hold, wrapped in cloth like something meant to be forgotten, is our bronze computer. Four crew members will die with their ship. The wreck settles off Antikythera 
and the sea begins its slow work of preservation. For 18 centuries it waits, pirates sail overhead, empires rise and fall, the Renaissance comes and goes, and still it waits. When those Greek divers finally disturb its slumber, they don't just find artifacts, but they find proof of a network. These objects aren't from one place or time, they're from everywhere. Someone had been collecting the most advanced works of science and art from across the known world. This wasn't random cargo. This was knowledge itself being transported. But to whom and why? When researchers finally understood what they were looking at, the implications were terrifying. This bronze computer could do things that wouldn't be possible again for uh, over a thousand years. The main dial tracked the sun's movement through the zodiac with perfect accuracy. It corrected for calendar drift, something that takes modern astronomers years to understand. But here's where it gets truly unsettling. Attached to the lunar pointer was a small ball, half white, half black. It rotated to show the moon's exact phase on any given day. The gearing behind it modeled the moon's elliptical orbit knowledge that didn't officially exist until Kepler 1,600 years later. On the back, five dials worked together to predict solar eclipses using the ancient sorrow cycle. This machine could tell you exactly when the sun would go dark, years, even decades into the future. It gets worse. The device was calibrated to track Olympic games and religious festivals, as if human society itself was tied to the movements of the stars. 3,000 Greek characters have been decoded from its surface, and there are an estimated 15,000 more waiting to be read. This wasn't just a tool. It was a complete knowledge system, built into bronze, and the skill needed to create it. Modern watchmakers studying these gears often walk away in stunned silence. Each tooth is exactly one millimeter long, cut with accuracy that today's finest Swiss engineers would admire. The bronze itself was a specific alloy designed to reduce friction and ensure the machine would run smoothly for decades. The trail of this impossible technology leads to one man, a genius so brilliant his very name still strikes fear into the hearts of those who dare to follow his work. Archimedes of Syracuse the greatest mind of the ancient world. When Roman soldiers killed him during the siege of Syracuse in 212 BCE, they didn't just murder a man, they silenced a brain that had unlocked secrets of the universe we're only beginning to understand today. The astronomical models embedded in the Antikythera mechanism match calculations Archimedes developed decades before his death. His understanding of planetary cycles, gear ratios, and eclipse patterns was so advanced it wouldn't be matched for over a millennium. But here's the chilling part. Evidence suggests the mechanism was built after Archimedes died, possibly by his students or those who preserved his hidden knowledge. The device was crafted somewhere between Corinth and Rhodes, cities connected by trade routes that carried more than goods. They carried ideas. Roman collectors were obsessed with acquiring Greek knowledge, especially anything that hinted at power over time itself. The ship carrying our mechanism was bound for Rome when disaster struck. This wasn't cargo for a local market. It was destined for someone with enormous wealth and influence. Someone who wanted to own the past, present, and future. But what if the Antikythera mechanism isn't unique? What if it's just the tip of an iceberg so massive, so terrifying, that it would force us to rewrite human history entirely? The Baghdad battery hints at electricity in ancient Mesopotamia. The Lycurgus cup changes color due to nanotechnology from the 4th century. Damascus steel was forged with techniques so advanced they were lost for generations. These aren't random anomalies, they're fragments of something much larger. Evidence that advanced civilizations have risen and fallen before, each time taking their secrets to the grave. Human progress may not be a straight line climbing toward enlightenment. It may be a spiral. We rise to incredible heights, only to collapse and lose everything, sometimes 
for centuries. The Bronze Age collapse erased entire societies around 1200 BCE. The Library of Alexandria burned, taking thousands of scrolls filled with knowledge will never recover. The Antikythera mechanism survived only because it went to the bottom of the sea. Everything else? Gone. Recycled for scrap metal, lost to war, or deliberately destroyed. What if our current technology isn't revolutionary yet? What if it's just us retracing paths walked by civilizations that came before? What if we're not explorers but shadows, following footsteps in the sand? For over a century, the Antikythera mechanism sat in museum storage, its secrets locked away. But in the 21st century, technology finally caught up with ancient genius. CT scans slice through layers of corrosion like a surgeon's knife, revealing internal systems that no one believed possible. Reflectance transformation imaging brought out Greek letters etched on surfaces smaller than a fingernail. The precision was beyond anything historians expected from 2,000 years ago. Then artificial intelligence joined the investigation. Machine learning algorithms analyzed fragments of text against tens of thousands of historical documents. What they found sent shockwaves through the research community. The device could predict celestial events with accuracy that wasn't officially achieved until the 16th century. Its calculations rivaled the best computers of today. But buried in the bronze plates, AI discovered something even more disturbing. Microscopic symbols, barely visible without magnification. They weren't decorative. They were coordinates. Map references to other sites across the Mediterranean where similar devices might be hidden. The Antikythera mechanism wasn't alone. It was part of a network. Armed with these ancient coordinates, archaeologists began scanning sites across the Mediterranean. What they found matched their worst fears. Repeated patterns of buried metal beneath ancient ruins in multiple countries. Syria, Egypt, Sicily. Each excavation revealed fragments of similar devices, each one more advanced than the last. This wasn't a single invention. It was evidence of a lost civilization with mastery over science, astronomy, metallurgy, and possibly even social engineering. But the most chilling discovery came from the AI's final analysis of the original mechanism. Hidden deep within its bronze plates was a message, a warning left by its creators for future generations. They claimed their knowledge had grown too dangerous. They had deliberately scattered their machines across the world so no one would ever find them all. They believed this technology should remain buried. And yet here we are, piece by piece, uncovering what they tried to hide. The question that haunts every researcher now is simple. If these ancient scientists went to such lengths to bury their creations, what exactly were they afraid we might do with them? When news of these discoveries reached the public, the reaction was unlike anything the archaeological world had ever seen. Ancient technology exploded across social platforms. Documentaries were commissioned. Books flew off shelves. But beneath the excitement lurked something darker, fear. If civilizations this advanced existed and fell, what does that say about our own future? Are we destined to repeat their mistakes? Engineers said, the precision of these gears. We're talking about technology that rivals modern manufacturing. How is that possible without electricity, without computers? Religious groups debated whether these discoveries challenged divine creation. Philosophers questioned the nature of human progress. Conspiracy theorists claimed governments were hiding even more advanced finds. The academic world split into warring camps. Traditional historians dismissed the lost civilization theory as fantasy. Progressive researchers argued that evidence demanded a complete rewriting of human history. Funding for archaeological expeditions skyrocketed. Governments quietly launched classified investigations into other potential sites. The race was on to uncover more pieces of this ancient puzzle. But with each new discovery came a growing unease.
Were we meant to find these things? Or were we disturbing something that was buried for a reason? Today, the Antikythera mechanism sits in the National Archaeological Museum of Athens, its bronze gears gleaming under museum lights. Visitors stare in wonder at this impossible machine, marveling at the genius of ancient craftsmen. But they can't see what researchers know, the microscopic warning etched into its very structure. A message from a civilization that achieved heights were only beginning to reach, then chose to bury their greatest achievements. As archaeologists continue digging, as AI continues decoding, as more fragments of this ancient network emerge from the Earth, one question haunts everyone involved. What if the ancients were right to hide this knowledge? What if some discoveries are too dangerous to unearth? And what if, by following their map of buried coordinates, we're not just uncovering the past? We're awakening it? The bronze computer that shouldn't exist has one more secret to share. And we may not be ready to hear it. What do you think? Are we uncovering humanity's forgotten golden age or disturbing something that should stay buried? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more mysteries that will change how you see the world.